First, uh, take the MXL 3D printed ring, put the 16 mm long uh, M3 bolts into the holes, and put the ring onto the lens with the teeth facing to the front. Like so. And tighten down the bolts. Now take the compression ring and put it onto the lens in such a way that these four holes are pointing towards the ring. Slide it on all the way. Now tighten the compression bolt. Not all the way, just so that you can feel some resistance and then you can test if it's holding well. Next, take the trolley L bracket with two 30 mm long M3 bolts and put it above the ring and into the trolley base. Tighten down both bolts all the way. And now you can test if the ring moves smoothly and if the trolley slides through the base normally, it looks okay. Attach the motor L bracket with uh, four M3 bolts. Put the pulley onto the motor, upside down, and attach it with the set bolts. Now put the timing belt onto the mixer ring. Put the motor into the air bracket by facing it down, facing it downwards, so you can attach the belt onto the pulley, like so. And now attach the motor to the air bracket with M3 bolts. Attach the anti-flex arm base at the back of the trolley with two 30mm M3 bolts. Now attach the anti-flex arm. First take 10mm M3 bolt and attach it to the hole on the top of the motor. You might have to remove the uh, countersunk bolt from this hole prior to adding the anti-flex arm. Do not tighten it all the way. Now take the 60 mm M3 bolt and attach it to the anti-flex extension
make sure that this bolt is straight and when it's straight upwards tighten the 10 millimeter bolt like so and now to adjust the flex optimally motor should be in parallel with the trolley so in our case i have to tighten this just a little more okay belt should be optimally tightened now that's all you're ready to auto focus clear skies